In this video, we're going to do unit conversions for the Casio FX300 ES Plus. Okay, so let's say we have something like uh, 4.83 times 10 to the fourth uh, pounds, and we want to change it into kilograms, right? The first thing is we need uh, some type of unit conversion. For example, one kilogram, right, is equal to, um, uh, let's say it's 2.2 pounds, right? But we can also say that one pound, right, is equal to 0 0.45 kilograms. These two are equivalent. Which one do you choose? It doesn't matter to do the conversion. Which one does your teacher ask you to memorize? That's different. Uh, usually it's this one, one kilogram equals 2.2 pounds. They want you to memorize, or maybe you have some type of sheet with the conversions on them. Okay, so 4.83 times 10 to the fourth pounds. How many kilograms? Well, we do this uh, cross here, right? We have pounds here on the top. What we want to do is go diagonal to that, and we want to put the conversion of pounds down here, and on the top we want kilograms. Because we're going to cross out the pounds here, and then we multiply and divide to get the kilograms in the end. But the pounds, which one do we use? Well, 2.2 pounds is one kilogram. So here, uh, 4.83 times 10 to the 4th times 1 is still 4.83, right? To the power of 4, right? And we're going to divide that by 2.2. And that's going to give you 21954.54545, okay? Um... And we can convert this into um, a scientific notation. So here we're going to go with 2.1954, let's say, times 10 to the what? Well, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, right? Um, that's going to give you um, to the fourth. So 1, 2, one, two, three, four, right? We'll move back to decimal. So, and these will be in kilograms, right? So, 4.83 times 10 to the fourth pounds is the same as, thing as 2.1954 times 10 to the fourth power. Now, how many significant digits you write out? That's going to be up to your teacher. Sure, you could have said, 2.1954454 times 10 to the fourth kilograms if you wanted to. Those are details you have to speak to your teacher with. Another one that, um, let's say you had something like uh, um, 8,424 milliliters, right? And they want you to change it into liters. A lot of the times, um, a lot of teachers like you to memorize one milliliter is equal to 0 0.001 liters. A little bit hard to remember, especially if you're doing it for the first time. I like the idea that you can take one liter and it gives you a thousand milliliters. Milli meaning a thousand. You need a thousand of these milliliters to give you one liter. Either way, you're going to have to remember which one your teacher wants you to memorize, or maybe they give you the option to do both. So, um, 8424 milliliters, right? We do a, um, a cross like this. And then these milliliters, I want to change them into liters. So, um, how do I do that? Well, go diagonal so I can cancel the units, right? the milliliters, and I want these to be liters. The milliliters, let's do this one. One liter is a thousand milliliters, okay? 
eight four two four times one divided by a thousand. Um, so that's eight four two four divided by a thousand. That's going to give you eight point four two four liters. Perfect, right now. What about if you had eight four two four milliliters, right? And here we have milliliters, we have liters, so we can cancel out the milliliters. What about if we use the other conversion? 0 0.00. Ah, oh, wait. One milliliter is 0 0.001 liters. All right? We gotta get we gotta make sure we align the correct units. One milliliter is 0 0.001 liters. So how do we do that? Well, that's eight four two four times point zero zero one equals eight point four two four liters. And right, the milliliters cancel. We get the same answer. So the important thing is using this table convention, this cross, making sure the units are aligned this way so you can cancel them so you can get the final unit that you want. All right, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, please show it to your teacher. Please show it to your friends. And I hope you have a great semester. Bye-bye.